is it worth it to spend more on a chain? Like, how much better is an $80 chain, an $85 Azumi Super Toughness versus a $15 KMC S1 chain? <laughs> Does it make your drivetrain smoother? Is it more durable? Is it stronger? Does it give you more fixie points? Now, I've ridden a whole bunch of chains. Everything from just the super cheap stock chains that come on entry level fixed gears, the two mid range chains, and all the way up to NJS chains that cost $60, $80 and up. So let's find out if an $85 chain is worth it over a basic $15 chain. Speaking of chains, this video is sponsored by Wabi Cycles. Wabi recently upped the track component game so you can get a chain to fit your budget. Whether you're trying to get the most bang for your buck, or be a baller with an Azumi V super toughness NJS chain, Wabi's got you covered. Be sure to stick around till the end of the video to learn more about how Wabi can help you build the buttery drivetrain of your dreams. Regardless of how much you spend on a chain, they all have the same basic components and function in the same way. First up are the plates. There's inner plates and outer plates on the chain. You see this one has some fancy uh, silver inner plates and black outer plates. There's rollers that help the chain move over the chain ring and the cog. And then there's pins that help to keep the chain together. But when you look at a more premium chain, here's like a little piece of an Azumi Super Toughness. This costs $85 for the whole chain, not just these three links, you get some nicer things, like a nicer finish on the chain. This is a $30 Izumi Eco chain. I think it still looks killer, but the finish on the Izumi Super Toughness is super baller, super nice. And Izumi Super Toughness is brand new. Just the gold on it is super consistent across all the links. And when you look at an $85 gold chain versus like a $15 gold chain, the $85 one just looks way more gold than the $15 one. And something I super like about the super toughness is that these inside links, they're not actually black, but if you catch them in the right light, you can actually see that they are a deep navy instead. They just look super sweet. A lot of nicer chains will also come with bushings that will go inside the plates and help to hold the roller in place. Supposedly, this makes the chains more durable and supposedly helps them ride smoother, but we'll talk about whether that's actually true or not. <laughs> These threaded master links where you can use a flathead screwdriver to quickly install and uninstall the chain for some quick maintenance. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of these master links because they feel a little weird when you're cleaning the chain and because this is just a threaded master link I've I've already lost like the little square uh, plate that goes on the back of it so that this uh, this little screw can thread into it like I can't even use it anymore like every time I clean my chain I drop that square plate on the master link and it's just a pain in the butt to try to find it or to always have to retighten this. So I just I just break my chain and use the regular links anyway. So that's not really a plus for me. A lot of people do like that master link though. When you're spending $85 on something like an Azumi Super Toughness, they really have to sell you why this is better than just a basic $15 chain. So the product page for the Super Toughness on Azumi's website there's a whole lot of words here. It says, you won't find a stronger, longer lasting, or more beautiful chain than the legendary Super Toughness made from pure Japanese steel. We use a special high carbon alloy for the connecting pins, often used in low friction ball bearings, which offers a 300% increase in durability compared to a standard chain. One of the few chains that meets the strict certification requirements of the Japanese Kirin Association, that's the NJS stamp, the Izumi V is renowned among Kirin racers for its strength and efficient power transfer. The proprietary surface treatment increases abrasion resistance and creates a striking contrast of gold outer plates against midnight blue inner plates. They're just saying it looks sick, which it does, and that's probably the biggest reason you should get an $85 chain over a $15 chain. Is a super toughness actually more durable than just a regular $15 chain? And in my experience is, if it is, it's very slight. I've ridden on two Super Toughness chains. I'm on my second one. The first one lasted me about a year and a half. That's about 5,000 miles. 
a regular $15 chain, a $30 chain, they last me about a year and a half. That's, that's not a 300% increase in durability and longevity like the product page says. <laughs> I can get about 5,000 miles out of a chain and I'm pretty good about maintaining it even though I do ride in all weather. But what about that finish? Is that finish more durable? Because it, it looks really killer and I would hope that an $85 chain will look better for longer than a $15 one. And the answer is slightly. <laughs> I'm not sure what exactly they use to get this gold color on the chain, and most gold chains, they fade with time. They fade the more you ride them, they fade the more you clean them. In my experience, a cheap gold chain will stay gold for maybe a few months. And remember to always use bike-specific cleaner and degreaser for your bike. Personally, I use this WD-40 bike degreaser since it's safer on finishes. With the $85 Super Toughness, this stays gold for a few months as well, maybe a couple more months than a cheap chain. So I've had this Super Toughness on Pete, my Wobby Special, for about four months now. And you can tell, it's still gold, but it's not as bright and shiny gold as it was when it was brand new. And this is the once gold Super Toughness that lasted me a year and a half. So is the chain itself more durable? Not really. Is the finish on the chain more durable? If you're getting gold, don't expect it to stay gold forever, just like any other chain, if you are regularly cleaning your chain, even with bike-specific cleaners. Is it stronger, though? Well, there may be some super built track racers that may be snapping chains. I am not one of them. I have never snapped a fixed gear chain, $15, $30, or $85. So if the $85 chain is stronger, I'm not benefiting from it. Okay, but is an $85 chain smoother, is it quieter than a $15 chain? And again, this is not something that I really notice a difference, and I'm pretty sensitive when it comes to minute differences between bikes. Supposedly, these bushings on the inside of the links, they make the chain roll more smoothly, but honestly, I haven't noticed a difference. If the entire drive chain were the same but the chain, and you put on a $15 chain versus an $85 NJS chain, and you told me to tell which one was which without looking down, I would not be able to tell you the difference between them with consistency. It would just be a coin flip. I'd just be guessing. <laughs> and also, this is a $30 Izumi Jet Black chain, and it has the bushings inside of the links. Like, it's, these are made in the same factory. This is $30, this is $85. Is one really going to be better than the other? just because it has an NJS stamp on it and costs $85. In my mind, the Izumi Super Toughness and a lot of the other NJS chains are just highly sought after because of the price tag. NJS, that is the Japanese Kirin Racing Association, has extremely strict standards for what gets an NJS stamp. And honestly, a lot of those times, those standards are pretty arbitrary. <laughs> but because they have such strict standards and because only a selected few manufacturers Manufacturers, all Japanese, funny how that works out, is able to get the NJS stamp, that's what makes them expensive because they're part of a, an exclusive club that us fixed gear riders have convinced equates to quality, when in reality it doesn't always. <laughs> Keep in mind that chains, they're consumable. You have to replace them every year, every couple of years, depending on how much you ride. So do you really want to be spending $85 on a chain? when you could be spending 20 or 30 bucks on a chain that is literally just as nice, or even $15 on a chain if you don't care as much about how it looks. Again, these are made. The Jet Black chain looks killer. Super Toughness chain also looks killer. Gives you more fixie points. But do you want to be spending that much money on something that's just gonna wear out and that you have to replace eventually? Unless you're a Kirin rider, I don't think that an $85 Izumi Super Toughness chain makes a whole lot of sense if you are reasonable with your money. But you know what is a good use of money? These organic, vegan, gluten-free water bottles from zaccolardo.com slash merch. There's only like 
57 of them left. There's probably not going to be more, so get one while you can. Stay hydrated. But with that said, I ride an Azumi Super Toughness. I bought one. I was happy with that purchase. I think they look so cool. And you have to be honest with yourself. Are you getting it because you need it to be the strongest chain on planet Earth? Or are you getting it because it has a cool NJS stamp, looks, comes in a pretty gold, and gives you a lot of fixie points and street cred when you're out riding your fixed gear? That, was, that is a totally fine reason to get a chain. That's why I ride the Azumi Super Toughness. I shoot my bike a lot. I want it to look as pretty as possible. With that said, getting an expensive chain may come with some psychological benefits. Because it is an expensive chain, you may treat your bike better. You may clean your drivetrain more often and pay more attention to how smooth it's running because you spent all that money and all that mental space dedicated to just your drivetrain. While an $85 chain doesn't really make a whole lot of sense for those of us that are not professional track racers, it's fun to have nice things. It's fun to have a bike that you look at and just look at every single part of and you say, wow, I am proud to have this bike and I want to ride it. That's part of the fun of building up a fixed gear. But regardless of what chain you want, remember, this portion of the video is sponsored by Wabi Cycles. From Wabi's own meticulously hand-built wheels to the track lacrosse ready velocity coils to the ever popular H plus one archetypes laced to your favorite hubs from Phil Wood, Grand Comp, DT Swiss, and my personal favorite, the Suzu Pro Maxes. Top it off with the most reliable tires from Continental and Panoracer, throw in an EAI cog in the flavor of your choice, and your favorite chain from KMC and Azumi, and your bike will make your inner fixed kids squeal with joy. So go ahead, check out Wabi Cycles and their component selection linked in the description. Fixie famous shout outs to Mario Perez, Brandon Black, David K, Gio DeZera, Julian Corona, Ryan Wood, Scott Plonky, and Zane Kolnick for helping to make these fixed gear videos possible through your supports on Patreon. And remember that life is short, but don't make it shorter. So ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous.